So we're here, man, at this awesome space. Yeah, thanks Rock for coming. Rock the Votes Truth to Power installation with my man Luis. Tell me all about it, brother. What's going on here? What we've uh, done is we've collaborated with a bunch of our friends in the uh, arts, culture, space, entertainment. It's like a big gumbo of yeah, just just energy like, and change. And exactly. Activism, just optimism. really, really bright people coming together to honestly and candidly talk about the issues and yep. then. Uh, explore some solutions and then link it all back to the understanding that the vote, the, 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 our, our individual vote yep. is the power. Yep. So that is the arc way from truth to power. Yep. When you come into the space, the, the lead piece here is Michael Murphy. His piece is called Identity Crisis, right? Okay. So the, the graphic up top reads, every day an average of 112 people are killed or injured by gun violence in America. Okay. When you look at the piece, it's a, it's a map of the United States, but it's, it's ah. made up of actual guns. And of, it looks like it might be 112 guns there. It could be <laughs> at least well 112 made. guns, yeah. okay? So that's the piece there that makes up the shape of the United States here. That's and dope. Wow. But then what's interesting about this piece is if you look at it from a different uh, angle, it gives you an entirely different scene. I mean, this is the reality of what's happening in this country today. I've had a gun pulled on me before, and it's no fun. It's a, definitely a changing thing, and right. I know that's you know, a major issue in our, in our society. Well, it's just a matter of empathy. Right is right and wrong is wrong. It doesn't matter white, black, or blue. It, you know, it, it's, it should all be, it should be colorblind. Justice should be colorblind. It's when you have the feeling of hopelessness, when you can't do anything about it, you, and you have, that, that, that's what is depressing. So, I paint, you know, I paint and I get it out, and I want to get it out to people. In the case of this painting, um, it stops with cops. I'm offering a solution instead of just just painting about the problem. This personally, one of my, uh, I hate to say favorites, but it's the one that has resonated with me the most. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a father, I have a 16 year old son. He just he turned 16 last Blessings. week. Thank you very much. I bought him a Volvo station wagon, a used Volvo station wagon. Because you're from Vermont. <laughs> and, and, and you and have a, to do that. And a Volvo, what is a Volvo? <laughs> Volvo is a Swedish car, right? And what else? It's safe, it's safe. reliable. It's a safe car. Yes. So I'm a father, I bought my son a safe car. I had this talk, I said, son, don't drink and drive. Son, please wear your seatbelt. Mm -hmm. All the regular dad stuff to his kid for yep. his first car. Yep. And then I had to stop. A special talk. And I had to have this talk. A special talk. With my son, because he's of color. Is this and called I, the talk? Oh, it is called the talk. Yeah. It's funny how that's become like part of our national vocabulary. It's insane. Because it's, it's people insane. have basically said that, you know, now through it's the totally news right. and everything that's going on currently, how the talk has yeah. become, you know, it's, it's, it's a much. verb like bling it's or anything much. else. Exactly. So. I mean, like, and how does that, how do we, how does that become the norm? And at what point do we say this is absurd? Yeah. And like, what, we say this now, right? Like, we, this is absurd. Yeah. What can we do to change this? And again, that's why these conversations and linking it back to voting, to is, voting. is like, we the people have the power to change this dialogue. We're proud to say that we have a, a for a three day show, we have a Banksy piece. Uh, we have um, Shepard Ferry, uh, who made, know, Shepherd, he yeah. made uh, a number of original pieces. Uh, we also have on the outside of the building, a 90 foot uh, Keith Haring uh, piece mm -hmm. that is on loan to us by City Kids. Um, that hasn't seen on North America in, since the mid 80s. It was in Paris for a while and then it sat in box for a long time. And then it's been uh, delivered back here. This is the first time it's been out um, in the United States. How, how receptive were a lot of these major artists to being part of this installation? Um, Rock the Vote is been known for 25 years. This, to, is, your, this is your 25th, so congrats to Rock the Vote. Thank you, and um, we've been known to you know, in one way or another, always be doing this in sort of like a speaking truth to power yep. sort of way. It's been an evolution of that. Um, and we've always been uh, strong supporters of artists, of the arts, of truth-telling, of truth-tellers. Yep.